Pat Buchanan went on Laura Ingram's radio show, and he spoke about the decline of America, a topic he's very interested in and has been interested in his entire career, and he made a curious point about ISIS and threats to America. Look, we better realize the United States itself is in tremendous long-term danger, I think, and the, the bleeding border along our southern border, the mass movement of peoples all over the world into this country, the decomposition of the country socially and culturally and politically, all of these things, it seems to me, are far greater long-term threats to the United States than even those dreadful characters over there in Syria or Iraq beheading people. Because given the mammoth size of the welfare state, with maybe 100 million people benefiting from it, and folks coming in by and large who are very poor and lack education and the rest of it and become increasingly dependent upon government. I think this is going to result in a dramatic increase in democratic strength gradually, I guess I should say, rather than dramatically. And it's going to be seem to be very difficult for a conservative party that believes in, in smaller government, believes in individual opportunity, and, and believes the things conservatives believe in to ever really get national power. So I think these things are, are far more serious long-term threats, that, again, than anything we see from, uh, from ISIL or whatever they call it now. So Democrats and immigrants are a bigger problem than ISIS. Oh, come on, Patty. Come on, man! These guys are so crazy and so ruthless. And if you notice, they never really bother to provide an argument. Here's what they say, as you just heard. Well, the decomposition of the country, socially, culturally, politically, and the welfare state, and the Democrats, and the immigrants, and uh, they're a bigger threat than ISIS. Okay, care to explain why? But the decomposition of the country, socially, culturally, politically, what does that mean? <laughs> you, care to, you care to give specifics? You care to give details? Uh, decomposition of the culture, socially, culturally, politically. You're just saying words. There's no meaning attached to those words. And actually, we all know what it, uh, what it really is under the surface. They don't even try to hide it much anymore. He's racist. Pat Buchanan is a well-known, well-established racist. And his view is, white is right. So if we have Hispanic people coming here, if we have uh, less and less of the population being white, if we have more black people, if we have black people getting more and more control, having more and more opportunity in the country, he views that as a bad thing by definition. He views it as, well, it's us versus them. Us white people have been so fucked up to black people for so long that if they get in control, well, gosh, they're probably going to... Uh, segregate us, and they're probably going to hold us down, and they're probably going to put their boot on the neck of the white man. No, asshole. They've just wanted to be treated equal from day one. They didn't want to do the reverse fucked up situation compared to what you did and what it, white people did throughout American history. And I never understood it, man. And maybe it's because I'm biased in the other direction, that I came from a multicultural environment my entire life. You know, I... It, Grew up in New York, outside of the city, in a very comfortable middle-class suburb in Nourishell, New York. The schools I went to my entire life, it was everybody. There was everybody. It would be weird if there weren't white people, black people, Hispanic people, Asian people, different ethnic backgrounds, different religions, different cultures, you name it. It would have been weird if they weren't there. I, I'm uncomfortable when I go to a place and there are no black people. I'm like, whoa, some shit's about to go down. Let's get out of here. I need black people around me. So maybe I'm biased in the other direction, but his belief system is clear in the sense that he thinks, well, I'm scared. I don't like it. It's bad if there are minorities around me, and we're losing the country when there are so many minorities, and they're worse than ISIS. And his other example is the welfare state. But again, what does that mean? I mean... So, Social Security and Medicare, that's also government money going to people, okay? It, what, that's worse than ISIS? To make sure that your grandma, if she breaks her hip, gets some help and doesn't go bankrupt 
That's worse than ISIS? That seems like a positively lovely system to me. A system that gives retired senior citizens with not much income a little bit of support so they don't have to sleep under a bridge at night while it's raining, that's a good system. A system that makes sure that uh, young Americans whose parents are not well off and they're hungry, they don't have enough money to keep food uh, always around them and in the house and in the kitchen, to give them a dollar and 30 cents a day so they could eat, that's great! That's awesome! But no, to backwards Pat Buchanan, it's the exact opposite. That not only is it bad, not only is it wrong, no, not only is it immoral, it's worse than fucking ISIS. Worse than ISIS. Worse than beheading people.